Well, when things sit out in the weather for years, ultimately they're going to be destroyed. Case in point, this uh, seat on the right off a John Deere LT180 tractor. The sun just got to it in the weather. You can see over the years, it just the vinyl is cracked and the water gets down in here. This is a metal pan on the bottom. It gets all rusty. I cut this out because I wanted to cut off the original bracket. The new seat I got off of eBay came from a company called K&M Manufacturing in Minnesota. It's actually manufactured by, it says Milsko on the seat. I don't know if it's the same company, different brand name, or totally different. They just OEM it. It was $120 before the tax. That included the shipping. This is the highback model, the XB180. They also have an XB150, which is the same height as the original seat, more or less. I also went and got the bracket with this one, so I don't have to worry about getting here than the original bracket not fitting this one quite right. That was about $15 to the bill. Here's the Milsko Manufacturing. It says they are out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. There are some slight differences on these uh, brackets. The old one's flanged up a bit in the back, which is going to give it a little bit more strength. And the metal on the side. There's a little bit more metal on the original than this one, but I don't think there's going to be enough load on this thing to worry about that. Yeah, here in the bottom you can see it's just multiple plastic. I don't think there's any metal on the seat whatsoever, except for these little insets, these sort of insets. And they're set off, I guess, in pretty common positions, although there wasn't a common position to fit the original bracket from that John Deere tractor. This is the new one they ship with it. It also has a cutout for your operator present switch. And a drain plug. This is drained from the top of the seat, so if the seat's not up, there's water there it should drain out through here. Although I have another seat like this on the Massey and the tends to get clogged a lot with debris off the trees. The uh, two bolts and the two washers did come with the seat. Well, one slight problem with this new seat is the operator presence which isn't going to fit in here. Apparently they went to a new form factor over the years. Everybody must have standardized and this little guy is not going to fit anymore. The other thing is you notice this has a little push button on it which would get pressed by this little metal pad that's under the seat there. Nothing but foam here. I looked at the new ones online. There's some generic ones for $15. They have a, basically a big pill which would ride up against that foam. Yep, so here it is. The new operator present switch just came today. eBay, I think it's like $12 delivered. That's going to be the um, Stens 430785. I've seen it anywhere up to $20 on eBay, so shop around. This particular model has the four conductor for John Deere. A lot of them just have a two conductor, which is all you would think you would need. Checked it out, works great. There it is, that Milsko XB180 seat sitting on the old John Terry L180. That thing is very comfortable. I was almost ready to take a nap and ride in that thing. That's amazing. Anyway, you can also get that in the, I believe, the XB150, which is the lower profile, which is pretty much what comes on the tractor. Save you a few dollars. All right, hope this helps. Cheers.